Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy LAPD Code 3 here, back again with another episode of LSPDFR. And happy leap year to everyone out there. As for all of you that don't know, leap year only happens once every four years on the month of February, and today we is no different. Uh, as we approach the fourth year here, we are finally and on leap year. So I'm gonna be doing this California Highway Patrol episode. I'm here with the 2019 Dodge Charger. Uh, the base was just recently bought by uh, from Georgie Moon, and I started to do a CHP immediately on this. I started doing a CHP build on it. Uh, I think it came out pretty well. I added the same light bar I had from uh, the 2018 version, so I converted this one into a 2019 version. And it's not an EV20 because it requires DLS to even so much as give it the EV20 uh, persona. But I will be looking forward to making a DLS version of this at some point this year. Uh, once the V2 comes out, no new calls have been added, uh, no new plugins or scripts, but uh, still using Viewpoint 5 uh, from Rustling Party. And I'm hoping that we get into some good calls today, man. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get into this episode. And for those that are new watching, don't forget, guys, to hit my subscribe, smash the like on this video, leave some comments down below. Your feedback is always appreciated. And don't forget, guys, my Discord is now available. I will get into that later. For those that are uh, confused about what happened on my Discord, I will explain that further into the episode. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get on patrol. Dispatch 9 out of 26, show me available. Roger, 9, Adam, 26. Proceed with patrol. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to make a traffic stop on this uh, guy driving the scooter. He's driving it without a helmet. Let's go ahead and get him a little bit further into the... Right there, perfect. Okay. Well, I guess he was riding this helmet. I couldn't really see, but how you doing, sir? Oh, it looks like he's nervous and sweating. I wonder why. How you doing today, sir? My name is Officer Noriega. I'm with the California Highway Patrol. All right, do you know why I stopped you today? Uh, expired registration? No, I couldn't see that you were wearing a helmet, so I was checking, but it looks like you were wearing your helmet. So I do apologize for that. Uh, do you have a driver's license registration insurance on you? And do you have a motorcycle permit or a motor permit? All right, can I take a look at that? Can I see slide D, please? Thank you. Okay, everything checks out here. All right, um, I got a question for you though. Is there any reason you're nervous right, right now, bro? You seem to be sweating right now. You get pulled over often, and why is that? Is it because you're driving this, or is it just because? All right, so just uh, do me a favor. Just sit tight here for minutes, and I'll let you go. All right, man. You don't got anything on you, right? In, in your possession. All right, just sit tight here for me. All right. I've never since sweating, but I have a reason or suspicion right now, and I don't want to. I'm hoping it doesn't have anything on. Let's just double check to be safe. So he has gotten pulled over in the past, so he's just sick of it, really. Citation for turning on the curve of crest, grade prohibited. Failure to stop at a stop sign, and penal code 374A for littering. Let's double check and see what's going on with him. I'm gonna double check him one just to be sure, because reason of suspicion. Alright, sir, you wanna do me a favor step out of the scooter for me? Alright, do me a favor and just keep your hands out of your pockets. I'm just gonna check you out real quick. Alright, you're not in any trouble, but alright, just wanna double check because you're kinda nervous and you know you being nervous makes me nervous, alright? So go ahead and turn around for me. Got anything that'll, stick, that'll stab me or stick me? Guns, drugs, knives, needles? And there it is. He's got a pistol with one in the chamber. Whose gun is this? Yes, it Code is, three. officer. Okay. And is it registered to you? Why isn't it registered to you? No, 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 no. 
Okay. And what yeah, about the drugs I just found on you? I don't know you What is that? What, what, is, what is this stuff? It's just Tylenol? Alright. I'm gonna check this out right now to be there if there's a chance to find you back for me. Shut the hell up! Okay. He's on your left. Dispatch 9 out of 26. Can I get a code 2 backup? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just put you right here for now, okay? Just stay right here for me. And we'll wait for backup. Alright, let's go see what this stuff is. Use our police menu, get our gloves open. And let's go ahead and check out this weapon we found on it. Oh, LA County Sheriff is in Hello. here. And it looks like it's gonna come back as a stolen weapon, mm -hmm. so that's one more charge to add it to him. Other than the uh, drugs we found on him. So let's see what we found. It was a, I believe he had white. Uh, yeah, tan powder in a plastic bag. He said it was Tylenol, but that is highly doubtful now. So most likely it's going to be heroin, methamphetamine. Uh, we'll double check that right now. As you guys can see, I didn't even add anything in the back yet. I'm still waiting to put some things in there. And it looks like it's going to come back as positive for heroin. All right, all right, deputy. So here's what's going on. I pulled this guy over for uh, assuming he had he didn't wasn't driving with his helmet on. But when, when I got close enough to see, I noticed that he did. But he started getting nervous, and you know, nervousness uh, brought me up to speed. So I realized that he had a gun in his waistband as well as the uh, drugs he found in his possession. So he's going to be charged with possession of a stolen weapon and possession of narcotics. Okay. All right, man. This officer, this deputy is going to take you now. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a tow truck out here. Get this out of here for him. If I even can. You're welcome. Alright. So Dan Botnari will get him for his possession. Possession of a stolen, carrying a loaded firearm, possession of a stolen firearm, and the possession drugs, possession of heroin. Alright, so that's going to be a code 4, guys, and we're going to get back on patrol. What was a traffic accident looking like that? we got a pursuit in progress. We're going to go ahead and respond to that. Oh, this is, he's gunning it right now. Oh, didn't not see him coming. All right, we gotta pursue. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of my way. I'm gonna catch up to him before he uh, gets away from us. I said it's gonna be a motorcycle. No wonder why. People don't know how to drive, bro. As soon as I get this vehicle up and running, uh, I'm gonna try to get some more, try to get some more vehicles this year. I'm still working on getting Kane's 2016 as well as uh, Georgie Moon's Durango, so I will be getting those two hopefully this year. And I got other couple of other, like I said, I'm already working on Beverly Hills Police Department. I'm still working. I just recently got the TR, the 21 TR light bar, so I'm just waiting to uh, get started on that. Hopefully, going to take some time this March to do it. Yeah, those guys were left in the dust, bro. Oh, he crashed! He crashed! Oh, we got we got runners. We got runners. I gotta get this guy. Got it. Shots fired. Shots fired. Where's the other one? 
Hands, hands, show me your fucking hands now. Get on the hit get on the floor. Get on the fucking floor right now. Get on the fucking floor. Crossfire, crossfire. Just give up! Bitch ass! You got nowhere to go! We have you surrounded! Give it up! Alright, I got him. He's hot behind something. Okay, you better chill. Holy shit. Hello. I got you. All right, somebody watch him. Whoops. We got to get this guy. Let's go ahead and glove up so we can grab his weapon. Hi. All right, let's restrain him. Get an Ari rolling. All right. So why are you running, man? What you got on you? Serving pipe with tan powder residue, so drug paraphernalia. You realize that, that little stunt you did just got your partner shot, right? And you know his actions have consequences, therefore this white is on the ground right now and you're not. So why'd you run from us? Alright, LAFD just arrived on scene and they're gonna go ahead and take care of him. James Weissman, I believe his name is, something like that. Hopefully we'll get a name. This is terrible. Hopefully we'll get a name on this, on this guy. Ah, uh, he's alive. Okay, you guys took a few shots, but he's okay. Crazy. Greg Dalton. Look, I shot at my window too. Like, come on, bro. He had an outstanding warrant. That's why he was running. And I'm guessing this was the passenger. Get them both out of here. Uh, is this for real? Hello? You're a real jerk. Yeah, it's good possibly for heroin. Okay, so we're gonna have them both charged. One for a warrant, reckless driving, evading arrest, and one in possession of a firearm, attempted murder. He also had a note. So the arrest warrant was for filing a misleading welfare statement. He was on parole, so now he violated his parole for possession of the weapon and shooting at a cop as well. So attempted murder. So we got him on attempted murder. We got him on assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer. We got him on his justice crimes. Uh, violation of parole. You betcha. As well as the uh, vehicles, vehicle crimes he committed. Reckless driving, causing serious injury to his partner. And of course, we got him on exhibition of speed and reckless driving. Well, actually, we already got him on reckless driving, so let's just get him on that. As for his buddy James, James Weiss Muller, he had an arrest warrant for federal for selling, giving, or disposing firearms or ammunition to prohibited persons. So basically, he's got a federal warrant for giving him the weapons. He's not supposed to be selling weapons to anybody, so. All right now, we got him on his federal charges. So we'll get him on a federal charge. Once we find it in here. There we go. Selling, giving, or disposing firearms or ammunition to prohibited person. Okay. And we got him for resisting arrest. And the possession. Not to mention the possession. Criminal possession, uh, drug possession, charges possession of... Okay, 
Alright, that's it for him. Alright, so that's gonna be a code 4, guys, and uh, we're gonna get back on patrol. Got reports of a uh, individual asking people for money at Legion Square. We're gonna go ahead and respond to that. I'm gonna see if we can get there uh, from here. We're kinda far out, but we'll try to make it. So earlier, I was in another call. Uh, right around this exact area right here uh, I was conducting a traffic stop on a mammoth on a mammoth I believe it was uh, the driver had a suspended license and he had a warrant for uh, what was it I believe it was a warrant for assault I believe it was for assault on, uh, on a police officer and as soon as we were in pursuit we ended up like heading towards the La Mesa freeway area and I was actually surprised that by the time we got the charges out the way the damn guy the damn game crashed on me so and it took me about a good 10 12 minutes to get back in so trust me that probably would have been the call of the episode you guys would have loved it that was a really good call because as soon as we pulled him over he popped up a she pulled out a shotgun started shooting us and then he got into another person's vehicle then that guy tried to shoot us and that same car from the guy that was shooting us, he stole his car and drove off. Then he had like three different types of drugs on him, not to mention uh, the shotgun we found on him, which was also stolen. So I was like kind of surprised at all that I was like, this guy would have been the MVP of the episode. And yet we had to pretty much get rid of the whole thing because we had to pretty much trash the whole video because it crashed. It was horrible. But I was like, damn, I had an opportunity right now. I had an opportunity to get this guy. Alright. So let's go ahead and wait to... I'm guessing this is the one right here. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to her and see what's going on here. How you doing? Can I talk? Can you stop and talk to me, please? Oh shit! The one time, and she is running from us. Bam! Really? Ma'am, stop running! I'm gonna tase you. Damn it! Taser! 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 Hey, Roger. Stop running, ma'am. Show me your hands. Backup required. South of uh, the FIB hands tower. Down. What is going on here? Why is she still... I don't know why she was refusing. Stay right now. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. On the ground now. On the ground. Get on your knees. Stay where you are. Do not move. Alright, give me your hands. Give me your hands. Put them around your back. Let's go. Attention, this is dispatch. Get out of these guys, okay. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go, come on. Run from me? What are you thinking, huh? This was kind of weird. I tased her three times. Normally when you tase somebody, they normally just stop at right after that. But this was actually surprising that it took three tasers to drop her. And Anna stopped the ped, uh, Anna stopped the ped, uh, command. Let's go ahead and run this. Let's 
kind of weird, but whatever. Let's put it right here. Hello. Go ahead and have her check her out. 25 Mayor, Queen 18, 25 Mayor, Queen 18. Ambulance traffic, CPI involved, 9206 Wilmington Avenue, 9206 Wilmington Avenue for three. Uh, we've got a yellow bandana, teal bandana, debit card, and pen's name and a photo of a person. So it looks like she has uh, gang affiliations from two different sides. Her name is Sid Winsley. Not sure what her connection is, but she does have an arrest warrant for a violation of a court order. So we'll definitely get her for a court violation. Violation of a court order, so we got our love uh, level warrant for a violation of misdemeanor, violation of court order. We'll get her for that, and then we'll also get her for uh, resi resisting arrest. She ran from us. Not gonna, I'm not gonna show what we're gonna do about the bandanas though, because they were uh, half and half. When you know they could be criminal, they could be just regular bandanas, but teal and yellow. If it's yellow, it's gotta be Vagos territory for sure. Go ahead and uh, submit those charges on her. She didn't have anything else on her other than that. Assistance required north of uh, Sanders Motorcycle. Let's go ahead and uh, hit our lights to stage two for right now. And we'll just wait it out right now for her. I can't believe that last call crashed on me. What a ridiculous, ridiculous nonsense, man. Fuck it, this guy be taking his sweet time getting here. Going like 20 miles an hour. Trying to warp him here, but I don't think it's gonna happen, so. He could be taking his sweet, sweet time getting here. I'm hoping at some point I get my hands on a little bit of graphic mod. I've been, I've been using the Visual Vanilla and I tried Visual V. Still on MVE. I haven't used Quan V, but yet it's funny, all these Vs, man, but none of them scream out amazing visuals. No matter how much setups I use, even the preset setups that they give us, it's never enough. Something is always missing, either I do something wrong, or... Sometimes I'm always doing something wrong with these setups, I don't know why, but I always follow whatever they give me, and it's never enough. Something is always messing up, but it's whatever. I thought that smoke was coming out of my bumper. I was like, there's no way in hell I broke my bumper. <laughs> All right, that's a code for it, guys, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get back to the station. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn into the station. God, who's red Prius parked in my spot? No worries. Alright, let's go ahead and turn off our radio here. And we'll go ahead and do our court cases now. So far, uh, one, two, three, four arrests today. We'll start with Dan Bonnari, who had possession of a stolen firearm, carrying a loaded firearm, possession of heroin. And he's going to be charged with eight thousand eight years in prison, fined six thousand dollars. He was found not guilty on the heroin. Maybe he got a plea deal out of it. I don't know. Uh, Greg Dalton and James Weismuller. We got them both for uh, resisting felony for felony resisting. Uh, one of the he was the driver, I believe, for reckless driving. So he's going to be doing sixty-three years in prison. Uh, 40 years for the attempted murder and the assault with a firearm of police officer, that's an extra 11 years, as well as the driving, reckless driving, causing serious injury. 
so most likely Greg Dalton will be the um, most valued perp of the day and from what it's looking like I believe so so this guy was granted probation and only four years in prison Sid Winsley is only going to be charged for six months in prison so Greg Dalton that goes to you sir you are the most valued perp of the episode congratulations Alright, and that is going to do it guys for our episode and I hope you guys did enjoy it. As always guys, happy leap year to y'all. I hope to see you guys in the coming month for March. As we, now I am here to say I have 23 days till my birthday. Can't wait the big 34. I am getting old. So that being said, thank y'all for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe, smash a like on this video, leave some comments down below. Feedback's always appreciated. Don't forget to share this video, guys. Use the link if you have to. Share the link. Uh, don't forget to join my Discord. That man was trying to get back up there, back to the 1,000 plus members. So see you guys there, and you guys can talk with me about anything. If you want commissions, feel free. Till then, stay safe, guys, this weekend, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.